Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I want to share with you all why I do not like carnivore dieters, which a lot of you may be thinking, what the hell? You talk about a carnivore diet on a regular basis and massively promote it on this channel and you're a huge advocate of eating this way because it's amazing for resolving many different health issues that may have been induced on a vegan diet or due to some other reasons. So I'm gonna to explain to you in this video as to what I mean in full detail. So, to be more specific, I do not like these extreme dogmatic idealistic carnivores out there, which there are so many of them out there. And this tends to happen not just on a carnivore diet, but it happened to me when I was on a fruitarian diet, I became very dogmatic and idealistic and found there were so many teachers that were very similar minded with their approach with the diet. And I've seen some many other different diets as well. So yeah, when I've made videos talking about me consuming raw dairy or raw honey on a carnivore diet, I get so many of these extreme zero a carb carnivores out there that say, well, you're not on a carnivore diet and milk is just pure sugar and so is honey and it offers nothing that you need to be as healthy as possible which that may be true for them but that is not necessarily going to be the same for every single person we are all different and a lot of people hated on me especially on the world carnival tribe facebook group which i'll put a link down below for which is one of the biggest carnival groups when i said that a zero carb carnival diet was giving me fatigue. If you haven't seen that video, I put a link for up above, you can check it out. They just absolutely freaked out when I said that I resolved the fatigue issues that I was having by adding in raw dairy and raw honey that had been recommended to me by some long-term carnivores out there. And this post that I put of my video on there, it got something like over 200 comments and people absolutely freaked out. People were asking admins to ban me and people were hating on me left, right and centre and it was just like creating absolute chaos. I was sharing my own personal experience. I wasn't saying that I'm not a pro carnivore diet in any way. I didn't say a zero carb diet is not good for anyone because I know so many people that thrive on a zero carb carnivore diet and some people that don't. And I am one of those people where it just doesn't seem to be the most optimal for me, at least at this current point. And who cares at the end of the day if I'm having raw milk? You don't need to go and hate on me and just bash me. It's like, come on, man. Like, it's not a very good way to be with a diet where you're very religious and hate on people and say, well, you're not part of my carnival group anymore and we're going to push you out of our carnival religion. It's just like, come on, man. We have so many things in the world separating people. And just because you maybe don't feel good from raw dairy or raw honey, it doesn't mean that my own personal experience should be completely denied and made wrong. That's just a really like unconscious way to behave towards someone and I just don't see any point in it any way, shape or form. We don't need to be pushing more people away. We have so many things that are separating people in the world already. So yeah, it's just absolutely crazy to see. And then I ended up posting about me drinking around five gallons of milk a week and again people freaked out and it's just like oh man like what the hell I'm not trading one of my old dogmatic diets which used to be the fruitarian diets to another dogmatic diet I will never be dogmatic with any diet ever again because guess what when you're being dogmatic with your diet it's just your ego and your ego wants to create your identity around your diet but your diet is not your identity I am that I am and that is all that I am. I'm not a calisthenics athlete. Yes, I do calisthenics. I'm not a carnival dieter. Yes, I eat a carnival diet, but I am just me. And that's all that I need to be. I do all these different things and I switch up different things in my life that are no longer working when it's not working for me. But in the past, when I was on a fruitarian diet, even when it wasn't working for me, due to all the brainwashing that I'd received from dogmatic, preachy, fruitarian teachers out there, I kept just grinding it out even though it wasn't working for me and I had telltale signs of nutritional deficiencies that I couldn't resolve on that diet. And my ego was very attached to be in a fruitarian because I'd built this whole YouTube channel that I had in the past around fruitarianism. 
and had actually become very well known in that diet movement. And even though it was affecting me in a negative way, my ego wanted me to hold on to it, all my brainwashing around fruit and thinking all other foods, including all cooked foods, was bad for our health. And then having this whole social media platform that I had at the time, where I was very well known in the fruitarian community for eating that way in the raw vegan community, I was just so scared at that point many, many years ago coming out about me going back to cooked foods, which was actually cooked vegan foods at the time. And at that time, I was a completely different person. Now, if I need to completely switch up a diet, I will let go when it's no longer working for me and no longer serving me in a positive way. And that's exactly what I did when I wasn't feeling good on a zero carb carnivore diet. And it's about listening to our own bodies because our bodies know best. Not your own head, not your ego, not anyone outside of yourself. Yes, it can be good to listen to other people and use your mind in a very intellectual way. But there's so many people that run into issues with so many different diets where they do not want to let go of it and they attach themselves to it and don't let go of it for just these really, really ridiculous reasons. And I'm not gonna hate on any people that go through that because I've been through that. But it's just a dangerous path to lead. Just eat the foods that make you feel good and be open to everything and attach to nothing. So if it's no longer working for you, try something else. And this is why so many vegans end up destroying their health, like I did and many other vegans that I've interviewed on this channel that are no longer vegan because they're so brainwashed with being vegan and they think it's the best thing for the planet and their health and for the animals, when actually that's just a load of misinformation sold by vegan preachers out there that just push for pseudoscience and open dogma again and just a lot of their idealistic beliefs around a vegan diet, which have been debunked by really good reliable sources out there time and time again. And I just don't want other people to do this with any type of diet because it's good for people like you, if a diet's not working for you, listen to people like myself, where it didn't work for me on a vegan diet or the other ex-vegans that have been on my channel. Learn from our mistakes. Don't just get to a point where you just keep going down and downhill, where you have to get to a point where you are just completely broken down health-wise, holistically, and it gets you to breaking point where you're just like, right, okay, I've completely destroyed myself and messed myself up, now I need to switch things. And it's like, I don't need to be a part of a group. I don't want to be a part of a group. If everyone's going this way, I'm going this way. It's like, I am unique. And I think it's best for us to all be that way. But we have so many sheeple in the world. And it's just not the best way to go in my personal opinion. But what I did actually notice on my YouTube channel, when I actually mentioned that I resolved things with raw dairy and raw honey, many other people came out and said they felt awful on a zero carb carnival diet and it wasn't working for them. They found things such as raw dairy, raw honey, even things such as white rice or even potatoes or fruit managed to resolve the issues that they had on a zero carb carnival diet that they could not resolve on that diet. And this is really good to hear that it's loads of people on my YouTube channel, unlike the trolls on Facebook, which seem to be like the demons of the social media platforms that, yeah, just seem to bash people like crazy. But yeah, that's just the world we live in. I don't need everyone's acceptance. I'm doing what I need to do for me. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. It's as simple as that. As long as you're doing what you wanna do and it's not harming me or affecting my loved ones, then I don't care. Just carry on with what you're doing. But like I said, and just remember, just always try and keep your mind open. If something's not working and you've done all the research around what you're doing with your diet and it's still not working for you, you've tried all the different things and learned from all the different teachers to try and correct the issues on the diet that's not working for you and it's still not working, then be willing to be your own scientist and do your own scientific experiment with yourself and try implementing one different food in a different time, not many different foods at once, and then you can find out what foods work for you and what foods don't work for you. Remove the ones that don't work for you and keep the ones that do work for you. And remember, we're forever changing. Nothing is static, it's all dynamic. So, the carnivore diet may work for you for a very long period of time, but then it may not do at another period of time. And this tends to happen for so many people on so many different restrictive diets, which that's what a lot of people call them, because you end up getting all of the nutrition that you need for a long period of time that you haven't had for a long period of time 
to actually correct all nutritional deficiencies and give your body all of the nutrients you need. And then you might need to switch to other foods you haven't eaten for a long time to get certain other nutrients that you cannot get an abundance from the certain foods that you're eating on whatever diets that you're eating at this specific moment. So that's it from me in this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Peace.